Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Wednesday, another big get day on FIFA Ultimate Team with the guaranteed team of the season, SBCs, coming out today. Now, of course, we have the potential for three of them today. At the time of this recording, we do not have any code, any code put out by Footwatch or anything about the CSL, about the Syria or the Air Divisi guaranteed TOTS SBCs, but... If everything holds true and holds the same as it has been the past few weeks, we should be seeing three Team of the Season guaranteed SBCs today, which is freaking hype and also a big opportunity for EA to drain a lot of coins off the market because a lot of people are going to do these SBCs and it's probably going to be a lot of squads like the 84, or 85, or 86 range for the Air Divisi, for the Chinese League, and for TOTS SF Serie A. So somewhere in like the 83 to 86, 87 range, obviously 86, 87 being for Syria, and then 83, 84, 85 for the Air Divisi and for the Chinese Super League is what I would expect for all of those SBCs today. Now, first of all, what is that going to do for the market in terms of SBC fodder? Let's take a quick peek and talk about this because a lot of you guys have been asking me what stuff goes up weekly. And a lot of you guys have been talking to me like, hey, 82s, 83s. Good nations, good positions go up a lot every single week. Somebody mentioned Bergwijn to me today, a left wing. Depending on the SBC um, position, right? Look at this man. He goes from 1.2K all the way up to 2. He goes up 1,000 coins, even higher than that in the hype um, when the guaranteed SBC comes out for the lower league since it's 83, 84 rated. Some of these 82s are going up a lot in price. So this is still an investment some of you guys might be able to get in on. As you take a look at some of these cards that go up every week because of the lower tier tots guaranteed SBCs. Look at this, Kieta going from 1.2, almost a thousand coins last week up to almost 3K, right? Same thing even last week. He went from, or two weeks ago, he went to 3K. Last week, 1K to 1.5K. It just depends on what the formation is for that lower tier squad. But if it requires a left wing, left wing or a left mid, you can expect a lot of those guys to go up. Or Yarza Ball is another one that people have talked about a ton. So that's something if you haven't bought any cards and you want a low budget investment, some of those cards probably are going to go up a decent amount this week. A lot of people are making tons of coins on it week by week. That's just not something I do to really trade that often. But this week potentially has, it's got huge potential this week because of the fact there's three possible SBCs coming out. So again, watch the foot watch Twitter, see if it does come out. And then we'll know like, hey, those are actually guaranteed SPCs that are coming. If we only get like two in the code, that'd be very interesting. I don't know why E would do that. It's possible that we would only get two SPCs. I feel like they should do three though. Just EA Sports, just drop three or whatever. Just do it. Everybody's going to do them. It'll suck more coins off the market and stuff like that. So I would expect for the Serie A SBC today, if it's 86 or 87 rated, you're going to see 84s, 85s, and 86s go up the most. 87s and above, probably not going to go up that much because even if it's 87 rated, so many people already have 90 plus rated TOTS cards in their clubs, which is making all of these be super duper cheap and, you know, yes, investable, but I honestly don't even want to buy any of these guys because why? What SBCs are going to make these go up? We're gonna, it's going to take a repeatable like prime icon upgrade SBC is literally, I think, one of the only things that could save the 89 rated, 88, 89 rated players and make them fly back to what they used to be. It's got to be a repeatable big time SBC that has 88 and 89 rated squads in it for, for you to see that stuff go up. So maybe during Ultimate Tots, they bring something out with that high of an SBC requirement. But at least right now, I'm seeing nothing under over like 87 rated at the very highest for basically all of the SBCs that are coming out in foot during team of the season, which is interesting to me that EA is doing that, but that's making these lower tier fodder cards, 84s, 85s, 86s, fly up every single week. So when we're looking at Moutinho right now, four and a half K, he's inflated already, but look what he's done the past few weeks, man. He's he's went up to 6,000 coins the past two weeks, multiple times. During Prem Tots, my man went to 7,000 coins, right? These cards fluctuate on the weekly all the time headed into team of the season. It's probably not gonna change that trend Today, I would expect that trend to be the same. Now, I also want to talk about the actual TOTS cards themselves because this is a big point where I think we could make some money today as well. 
if you're on the more higher tier and you want to mess around with some of this stuff, this is stuff that I've been eyeing and I've actually started to buy a few of these cards. Juan Quadrado was 160k almost all day today. And some of these other Serie A cards have been down just because people aren't buying them for whatever reason. I mean, people are spending coins on upgrade packs. There's just not a lot of hype in this game until the guaranteed SPC comes out and you start to see some of these rise. So I am eyeing some of the cards that I think people are using and people are actually going to be buying after the SBC. Because what happens is, we saw this the past two weeks, with the cards that are meta, usable, and popular, they rise, and it's a pretty nice spike, like hour or two after the SBC comes out, because people didn't get the card they wanted to get, so they go out, and they have to buy that card off of the market. We saw this last week with the high-tier cards, right? I think Lewa boomed for a bit, Werner, Sancho, those guys bounced up very nicely after the SBC. Even a guy like Hummels last week bounced up very well. That tells me a lot of people were buying cards for links and starting to buy some teams. So that makes me think that this week too, you're going to see some of these cards bounce up in price, right? Uh, Manolas, right? These guys bounce around as much already. This Manolas card was like 170 at one point today. Uh, I think right now he's 190 or like mid 180s. But if you would see this guy in the morning before the SBC in the 175 range, this guy could very easily pop to 200,000 coins very quick tomorrow. Smalling was one who I just looked at. He could very easily pop up to like 170. You can buy him right now at 145. Um, just look at the cards that are rare and the cards that have hype. And how do you tell which cards have hype? Basically, you can look on Footbin to actually find this using the number of games played when you look at the cards in Footbin. This is something I've talked to you guys about multiple times that you can use many different ways. 370 for Insigne, I think is a really, really good price. But check this out. Let me show you some of the most used OP, and I guess that you couldn't call them OP, but the most popular and used cards from this set. Who do you think is the most used Tots card? Let's take a peek, right? Insigne, 7,000. 849 games played. Um, who else has probably got a lot of games played? Um, who else is hyper up, right? Quadrado, how many games played does he have? He's got 4,000 games played, so a lot less than Insigne. What about Smalling? Smalling's got 3,000. What about Manolis? Manolis has 3,800, right? Insigne, to my surprise, has a lot of hype, whether it's just because he's the only left wing, he's very cheap and very meta, uh, or he's just actually stupid good in game, He's got a lot of games played, man. He's got a lot of games played, and that makes me like that card because he's very rare as well. Malinkovic Savage has a decent amount of games played. He's very rare, um, and he's a center mid. Uh, this Gomez card is really interesting to me too because he's very cracked. 5,000 games played. He's a very high-rated card, which means he's more rare on the market. If this guy is like 850, like he was 851 at his lowest point today, and he, he bounces from 850 to 890 on any given day, this guy might bounce back on the, the PlayStation. He might go up like 80, 90,000 coins tomorrow. He could go from 850 to 950. Uh, I think that's very possible. Same thing with Dybala. You could see some big bounces on these guys. Very hard to pack. Very rare. And if people don't pack them in their pack today, which a lot of people aren't, they're going to go back out on the market and buy them. Same thing with Lotaro Martinez, right? This guy has been like 1.5, 1.6 million coins for a predominant amount of the week on PlayStation. Um... You could see this price. He was 155 at his 145 at his lowest, which what he, he is right now. I could see this card bouncing back to like 155, going up 100, maybe even like closer to 16-ish, which is what he was uh, during the weekend. Even on Monday, he hit almost 16 a couple times. So I could see this guy getting close to like 157, 158 tomorrow, an hour or so, two hours after. The guaranteed SPC comes out. So that's something to think about. Even Ronaldo, man. Ronaldo was 6.2 million earlier today. That is low. I would expect this guy to be back at 6.566 6, for the weekend. Uh, at least right before League Untots comes out. There could be, yeah, 6.295, you see it there. There could be some panic on some of the top tier cards. Because people sell them. And they sell them from trying them. Almost dropped my controller right there. They sell them from trying them after rewards and stuff, and they build their teams for weekend league because they see the league on team of the season cards. So this is something, again, I would not focus on the really top tier cards unless you get a massive undercut and it's somebody who you're looking to buy for your team. Like if you want to buy Lataro for your squad, right? Then maybe you're looking at him today uh, before the 6 p.m. drop. 
But I would be more focused on cards that um, are going to be bought by a lot of people. Like Hummels last week for me is a really interesting one. I really like Quadrado for the linking reasons. And I really like this guy around 160K or below if you can snag him there. A lot of people have been buying this card up all day at the 160 range. He's up 10K right now, but he fluctuates 10K on the, like all the time. And how much tax do you have here, right? You're at 7,000 coins, so you have less than 10K of tax. You're at 170,000 coins, so you have like 8.5K of tax on this card. So if you buy him at 160 and he only goes up to 175, you're still going to make some coins on that transaction. But I feel like this card could be a 180, 190,000 coin card tomorrow just because of the links he provides. And he's the only, he's the best right back in the Serie A. Five star skills, very good card. He's going to feel good on the ball. You can play him at right mid if you need to. And again, the links, the Piemonte Calcio Serie A right back links are huge for me with this card. So I'm a big fan. And then a sleeper. This is my, this is my sleeper, man. Some people in my Twitch chat have been telling me that this card is very good. Uh, Luis Alberto. Some people have been telling me this card is very good. 350K at the moment. 350 right there. I think I bought one earlier today at 340. So these guys fluctuate all the time. Uh, I might have it listed up right now. Do I have it listed up? Or maybe I sent it to my club. Oh, it's back here. Where is my... Maybe I don't have one, man. I thought I bought an Alberto today for 340. I'm going to have to look into that again. But I thought I bought one for 340. Um, but that's something that you could definitely look into. Again, you want to buy it sooner rather than later. So if you see the drop in price, like 10, 15K drop, that's your kind of time to buy. And then you want to sell these two to three hours after the guaranteed SBC. Or you could just wait to sell them until after rewards because these guys will bounce even more after rewards. A guy like Quadrado could very easily be 200K after rewards, in my opinion. Again, you can check the supply on a card like this too. How many pages of supply does he have at 200,000 coins? Wow, man. For a 170,000 coin card to only have seven, eight pages of supply at 200K, which is 40K above right now what he is. And this isn't going to be a card that's going to be packed by, elite. it's going to get packed a decent amount during rewards, but not a crazy amount. So I'm a huge fan of Quadrado for real, or like a buy now and then hold until after. Kind of like a Thursday flipping investment with the impacts cards. Because I feel like even though there's not a ton of hype for Serie A, if you're going to run Serie A this weekend, this is going to be your right back if you need any sort of right back link. Like maybe you have uh, right back Quadrado, link it to Allen, link it to Manolis, and have a triangle with those guys. That's something I could see happen this weekend with these cards. But again, regardless of whether you're buying a Serie A card for your team or as an investment, you want to get out of that card by 6, nah, not by 6 p.m. Let me rephrase that. You want to be out of that card by at least Friday morning, right? Friday morning time when the league unhype starts to build even the secondary league tots right let's talk about these these guys are going to be rising from rewards as well they're going to get hit with some reward supply and then bounce back up some of these chinese league guys especially right to shara i'm going to be very interested to see how much supply this guy gets or jonathan these could be massive massive flips at rewards getting the supply from the packs being open this happened with Teles last week Teles dipped at rewards and then flew up into the weekend because it was a secondary league. Not as many people were talking about it, but he was Brazilian, good links, very well known as a left back. So I'm very interested to watch Teixeira, Jonathan, Augusto, Oscar, Paulinho, and Hulk. And then some of the Eredivisie guys as well. This week with rewards as a possible buy during rewards when the packs are being opened and sell later if they're very meta cards. Promes would be one of them, Taglifico, Dumfries, Ziyech, and even Vandebeek, honestly. But then you would want to get these cards out and sell them as a quick flip before Friday when lightning rounds come too, because these guys will definitely take a big hit this weekend during lightning rounds. So if you're buying any of it, any of the Todd's cards from these next three, these last three current team of the seasons, I think you want to cash out um, before this weekend's new set of Todd's cards. The other thing I want to look at today is out of packs cards. From the Serie A. They're kind of just holding their price or kind of going down a little bit. Honestly, a lot of these aren't moving that much. I'm looking at Lasagna. Uh, who's who's the guy from this squad? Lozano, 69K. Wow, man. Unbelievable. This guy was 80,000 coins Sunday night. Everybody started buying these cards up. And my guy has dropped. See, he, it doesn't show it on the graph. He was 80K. 
He was 80k on Sunday, man. Look at this, 78k on Monday. And with all the upgrade packs that came out, the over-investing that there was, people sold off a lot of investments. Uh, and you're seeing some of these guys drop down now. Ribery's still 1.03. Ronaldo's 1.7. He's actually boomed. Um, yeah, a lot of interesting movements on the market. What is, what is SS Mertens? 158. So some of these guys will still go up after rewards a little bit. Um, but it's got to be the guys that probably don't have a tots that are very hyped up cards. Maybe this Mertens still goes up a tiny bit. Maybe a guy like Headliners 9 Golan. Um, since there's a big price difference between this card and the tots, he's 245. Uh, I still think you might see this card go to like maybe 260 ish, maybe 270. There's still going to be some of those tots cards, maybe Douglas Costa as well, uh, that could continue to go up. If you have League One special cards, I think I would just continue holding those. They're probably going to get panic sold on Friday morning a little bit. So that could be another entrance opportunity. Um, if you do want to sell them after rewards and you just want to be liquid for League Untots, that would be fine too. But the League Unspecials are starting to rise up a little bit. Some of them are maintaining their high prices again, just because of hype. Renato Sanchez, 44K. This guy was 28K last week. He's up a lot. What about uh, Ikone? This is somebody I haven't checked in a while. Is he 100,000 coins? He's 93K. So he hasn't moved that much. He hasn't moved that much. This is one that I'm really interested in too. If you haven't bought investments yet and you maybe want a Ben Yedder for your club, this is an interesting one to me. Best version of Ben Yedder. Very, very rare. This guy hits 1.1 flat almost once per day. If you look at his, his daily graph, 1.112, 1.118. There's He's been multiple times very close to 1.1 mil. His tots card when it comes out on Friday is going to be nowhere near close this in price, at least double first hour probably going to start off with like four mil maybe down to like two five or three million coins by the end of the night on friday that's going to make this card rise especially with a position change in my opinion so i think this is still a very interesting investment in my opinion if you've got a lot of coins uh going on right there but again today is a big day in fud man it is wednesday we're getting the guaranteed spc packs it's going to cause some market movements there might be a little bit of panic there might be an opportunity to make some coins um, I'm going to be looking to sell a lot of the other special cards that I have. I've got some Musa Nebele striker cards that I've had for a while. I've got some Juan Jesus. Uh, I bought a Milinkovic at 270, 270. This was at 319. This is at 370. Um, and then I bought an Mbappe out of packs. If you got Mbappe and if you have Neymar out of pack golds, I would still hold those. Um, because you're waiting for those to be out of packs for two weeks. Like your sell time, when you bought that investment, you were thinking probably two weeks ahead of time for those. I want to talk about Ronaldo though, because Ronaldo is still about 330. I think this is again one that you wait for rewards with. If there's people that are buying Serie A teams this weekend, it's crazy that Ronaldo is only 330,000 coins. So I would expect this card to rise. I mean, pretty easily back to 350 or 360, I would think. Uh, because if you're buying any sort of Serie A team this week, I feel like this guy is in it because he's only 300k and there's not a lot of supply. Uh, up to 360k, we only have six pages of supply for this card. So that's not a lot of people in the world that have to go out and buy a Ronaldo at rewards um, to make that card go up, you know, 30,000 coins. So I think that's very possible as well. We'll talk a little bit more about Thursday flipping tomorrow, right before rewards. If any of you guys will catch that video. And we'll also be talking about upgrade packs, everything else that is going to affect the market this week. So if you're still looking to make some buys, maybe check on some of the League Gun specials that haven't risen, Serie A specials that haven't risen. Um, maybe some of these tots cards that I talked about today too, if you want to be a bit risky, look at these cards and then also out of packs, middle baby and some prime and icon moments cards. Look at some graphs, look at a few icons that you think people like to use. And if they're in your budget, especially for the baby and middle versions, a lot of the icons have been moving every week as well. So take a look at those cards for Thursday flipping investments as well. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.